Today we have reached the first really bad Famicom game, Ninja Kun Maju no Boken, translating to Ninja Kun Adventures of Devil Castle, another lame game brought to you by Jalico and Tose, and is a port of the 1984 arcade game with the same name, originally developed by UPL and published by Taito. So Jalico took a good look at this and said, we can make money off this, and bought the rights from UPL. Who is UPL? That's a very good question. Game Developer Research Institute doesn't even have an article on them, but they seem to be an arcade developer who eventually ported their own games to consoles like the TurboGrafx-16 and the Genesis. Anyways, Tosei's awful craft is definitely present in this one. Ninja Kun is a choppy mess featuring a really simple game that would interest pretty much no one, even little kids. The goal is to scale this mountain, killing off all the other ninjas that scale it. Jumping is delayed, and in order to jump to the next section, you have to be running while pressing the jump button. It's not terrible, but it really makes no sense why you have to do that. And to jump down, just press the jump button. I'm pretty sure that's not how it should be programmed. You and the ninjas use shurikens as your weapons. You can use them to destroy each other or to protect yourself, but it seems like if you protect yourself from the attack, you still die anyways. Also, most of the time, you'll die when you try to reach a new layer of the mountain, where another ninja is waiting to immediately smack you with a shuriken. The only strategy to avoid this is to smack headfirst into a ninja to make them dizzy. But watch out, you can be dizzy too. There's three different screens, this rock area, this rock area but gray, and the devil castle itself. You know, Popeye was only three screens, but at least Nintendo can make all the levels different from each other. Here it's just the same screen essentially with a new coat of paint. Ninja Kun also features some of the worst music on the Famicom so far, especially this part. Good lord. I guess if there's anything good about Ninja Kun, the graphics aren't the worst. This pagoda in the darkness with the moon is actually pretty stylish. And the enemies have giant bug eyes when they freak out, I guess adding some humor, albeit weak. But Ninja Kun pretty much represents how awful some later Famicom games will be. Limited gameplay, weak graphics, choppy frame rate, and will also represent some of Tose's subcontracted work they'll get later. Believe it or not, Jalico would go on to release several more Ninja Kun games, with one being released later in 1985. Hopefully it'll be better than this, but the only way to make a game worse than this is to not try at all.